Hello and welcome to another episode uh, with Lux Power. I'm your host Andy. And we're here at the Lux Power head offices in Shenzhen where we'll be looking at a number of new product developments that are coming up for the future. We'll also be looking at some uh, firmware upgrades that are required for the various markets. But more importantly, we'll be doing some product uh, reviews and especially some uh, videos to help you, the installer and the end user, to become more uh, confident in setting up your Lux Power Inverter. And then today we're going to be doing some videos on how to register and uh, um, a site and also how to program the dongle and we'll be using these donor machines here. So Your machine will ship standard with a dongle and the old version dongles look like this and very soon we're going to be introducing these ones which as you can see are slightly smaller, slightly shorter. This one is only TCP enabled, this one can do TCP and Bluetooth connectivity. Both of them function exactly the same way, but just this one has a better, uh, an easier way to set it up. So um, we're going to do uh, the Wi-Fi um, setup for both of them. Once you have your machine installed and uh, completed, the next step is going to be um, getting the machine online so that we can do uh, remote monitoring and remote maintenance. So step one will be to create a station and we do not need the dongle for a uh, plugged into the machine to do that. We're literally just going to create a station and register a station on the server, either here in China or in Europe or in Africa or in the USA. There may be 50 ways to leave your love up. There are only two ways to register a station. Number one, you can do it on the desktop version or number two, you can do it on the app. So we're going to show you both instances. Uh, right, so to do the registration, you're going to open up your internet browser. Um, make sure that you are logged out. Very important, make sure that you're logged out of the app. You want to be on the login page like this. Navigate across to the register button and click that. It will then take you to a registration page. And here you have the option of choosing the server which you will be working from. We have Asia, Europe, Africa and North America. For the purpose of this demonstration we're going to select Africa. And uh, the next step is to create a unique username for your client. Now remember as an installer you do not use your username here. This is the opportunity where you get to generate a brand new username and it's got to be unique for your customer. Um, if the username already exists, our server will notify you of this. So you will put in the username and then you generate a password. And once again, the password's got to be unique. Uh, some clients use their mobile number, some will use an email address, but it's really up to you what you use, uh, as long as you remember it. Um, and we try and stick to a standard format. You've obviously got to repeat the password to make sure that it's all correct. And then uh, from there, once you've corrected your password, uh, you get the text on the top which says everything matches. You then choose a simple nickname for uh, your end user. You put in um, their email address and their telephone number for the purpose of this uh, demonstration. We're just going to use a random email address and we'll go with a random telephone number as well. Next we get to the station name. Now this is another critical part of the registration. Um, please don't choose Lux. You know we have thousands of users around the world choosing the word Lux or including Lux in their station name. It doesn't, you know, the station name is there for you as an installer to identify the station that you're working on. So you must remember that every station that you add using your customer code will come onto your list of stations. So choose a name that's easily recognizable by you, like a street address or uh, the name of the customer, House Jones, or whatever the case may be. Daylight saving time, we don't do that in Africa, so we'll not do it. Now, for this plant, it's going to be done in Africa, so we select our, uh, we select Africa, the region is Southern Africa, and uh, the country is uh, South Africa, okay? And um, the next part here is we have to select our time zone, and this is critical for the timing that displays on your uh, on your monitoring app so we go for GMT plus two 
Um, and then uh, the last thing that we're doing in here is we're putting in the address of the site and this is just for us uh, to recognize where the machine is stationed. At this point is the customer code. Now this is a unique code that you've been given by your distributor. Please do not use a generic code that you found on the internet or that somebody gave to you because whatever code you use and goes in here the owner of that code will be able to see the, your site appear on their station list. They'll be able to go in and do station settings or maintenance settings without your knowledge. So please put in your uh, unique customer code. I'm using a generic one yet. Don't try and use it. The next uh, section, and this is the final section that we're going to be using, is uh, you have to fill in the uh, dongle serial number um, and you're also going to have to fin fill in the, the pin that comes on the box. Now, we're going to get an error message here because I'm just randomly making up a dongle and then we click register. And once we've done that, it will automatically go and register the station. If you have uh, entered the information correctly, it will give you a set successful. If not, um, it will tell you that the dongle already exists. And if that's the case, it simply means that the dongle's already been uh, registered and all you have to do is go in and um, pair the dongle with the Wi-Fi. Um, so it's quite critical that you go that you get this section correctly um, but as long as you get ticks on each line that's all good and it doesn't really matter if you've made any mistakes with um, some information that you've put in you can always go back at a later stage and edit the station by changing the station name or changing the contact details or whatever the case may be so that's uh, it for the online registration to register a station via the app, so this is how you're going to do it. Step one, you're going to find the app and open it. If you are already logged in, you need to, uh, and for the purpose of this video, I'm going to log in first. You need to log out. If you're an installer and you've logged in already, log out at this stage. Yes, you need to get to that stage. Then you're going to click the register button. And here, just as we did on the, um, um, on the internet or the, the desktop interface, you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to populate all of this information here. You create a unique username for your customer. It has to be unique. You create a username for them. Not, so in other words, you do not put your, as an installer, don't put your username and password in there. It's going to be a unique username and password for your customer, the end user. You repeat it and populate the rest of the page. Right at the bottom here, you're going to put in your distributor or your customer code, which is the code that you would have received from your distributor or from the, the, the enterprise that you buy your equipment from. They have the ability to uh, create installer codes. So you're going to put that in there. And then in this position over here, remember we spoke earlier about the dongle uh, serial number and password. That goes in there, that goes in there, and you click the register button. You will get a message that says uh, registration successful. Um, and uh, once that's done, we can proceed to um, pairing the dongle. Now that we have the station registered, the next step will be to set up the Wi-Fi dongle. And in order to do this, we have to follow the guide which comes inside the box. There's a little white box inside uh, the, the packaging of your machine. Inside there, you will find this leaflet which was neatly folded up uh, inside the box, unfolded and you'll find all of the instructions inside there. A very handy thing to note is that we, we've uh, installed the QR code for both uh, the App Store and for the Android uh, Play Store. So if you scan that with your phone, it will automatically take you to uh, the point where you can download the correct uh, monitoring app of uh, the App Store. It takes you through registering the account and it also shows you how to do the Wi-Fi configuration. And that is exactly what we are going to do now. We're going to do the Wi-Fi configuration step, and I will show you how to do that. The first one we're going to do it with, with is the TCP uh, protocol. So follow me, and let's uh, get it done. We've got a machine set up here with a battery, and the machine is powered on. Uh, it has to be obviously in the on-powered state so that we can do the uh, Wi-Fi module configuration. So I'm going to ask uh, Kathy to insert, insert the dongle into the machine. And Immediately when you, once the dongle is inserted, you will see that the bottom light goes solid and the middle light flashes. This particularly means that the dongle is now in the set ready state and uh, we need to proceed with the programming. 
So I'm going to show you how we do this and the, the method we're going to be using is uh, connecting via mobile. Okay, so to connect to the dongle to uh, the client's Wi-Fi, step one is we're going to connect our mobile. We're simply going to, I'm using an Android phone, so we're going to scan for Wi-Fi. We wait for the available Wi-Fi's to show up. This is the particular dongle that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna click, it's connecting, and I simply wait for a message to appear which says that there's no internet, uh, do you want to keep the connection? And I say connect for this time only. Now it's connected. Then very quickly we go to the LuxPower app and we click the dongle connect button. Now it shows me all of the Wi-Fi's that are available in the area. I'm going to look for the correct one which is that one there and I'm going to put in the password. And once I have the password set, I just simply click the Home Wi-Fi Connect button. It is now setting up and we get a message which appears there. It says, set up successfully and dongle will restart. All right, so now it will go through its startup sequence. You'll see that the, the, the configuration of the lights will change as it goes through the various stages. Mm -hmm. And then eventually we will wait for all three LEDs to go solid and that will give us an indication that the pairing to the client home Wi-Fi has been successful. Here we are with all three LEDs uh, solid and this means that the connection to the client's home Wi-Fi wi is successful. Now we can log into uh, the server where we've registered the station and uh, within two minutes you should see the station go live on your monitoring and maintenance app. So here is the dongle that we've connected and you can see the status now shows us connected and we can simply click on here which will take us to um, the monitoring page and we can now see that the station is live and it gives us all the information we need. And as an installer you should be able to have a look at the monitoring, you should be able to have a look at the data which will give you the four quadrants and we'll go through the settings on that on another video. Uh, configuration, your overview and the maintenance. Right, so that successfully takes us through um, how to register a station and how to pair the Wi-Fi dongle. So uh, in our next video we will take you through uh, certain other stages of monitoring and maintenance. But for now let's just do a recap. So when you bought your machine uh, from LuxPower and you unboxed it, you would have found a user manual inside there. And I know it's very typical for people not to read the manual, but I encourage you to read the manual. You follow the steps on how to install the machine successfully and how to follow, uh, how to do all the connections according to the code, the electrical code of the country where you reside. Once you've done the, the setup successfully, and I'm talking about on the, the physical setup, you're going to go through with the uh, station registration. That's the second part of your installation, which means you log out of the app or you log out of the desktop version and you, you click the register button and you log in and you populate the page with all of the information that is required. Remember that you as an installer are going to set a unique username and a password for your customer. And you are also, before registering the station, you are going to need a customer code which you will get from your distributor or from the, the, uh, the enterprise where you buy your equipment from. And remember, earlier on in the video, I told you it's very important, do not copy what you think is a generic code off the internet or off YouTube. There are no such things. The, co the customer codes are unique and you have to get that from your distributor. So um, if you do copy a generic code, it simply means that the owner of that code will be able to access your machine from their device and they will be able to change things uh, on your settings page. So once you've created and registered the station, then the final step then would be to uh, follow the Wi-Fi module pairing. Okay, so that would be exactly as we've done it in the video. Um, it's connecting the, your mobile device to the Wi-Fi dongle, um, then allowing the TCP set to be done so that you can pair it successfully with the customer's Wi-Fi. Um, we, you do, you, sometimes you might find that the dongle doesn't particularly uh, connect very well with your, wi your home Wi-Fi, even though you can pick up the home Wi-Fi on your mobile. And that purely means that the signal strength 
of the Wi-Fi in the area that you're working is too weak and I will show you how uh, in an advanced step how to log into the data logger IP address and how to check the signal strength of the uh, Wi-Fi. That's all for now.